close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to stay here solidly. Don't let things push you around. Don't let your thoughts about the past and future come in and push you around. Stay right here. Today we're, we're commemorating the, the passing of the monk we call Lung Lung, Mahabuntam. His title was Bhartrad Vinayai Sopon. But everybody, nobody called him by his title. Everyone called him Lung Lung. And that was the kind of person he was. Even though he lived in Bangkok, he was spent a lot of time with the forest monks. And he was responsible for getting a John Lee and a John Fuang known in Bangkok. He himself practiced, but he stayed on in Bangkok. He was the what they called the Pantradesaga, the monk in charge of meal invitations at one of the major monasteries in Bangkok, in a position where he could have become very rich. And several years back, there was a scandal of the other monks in other monasteries with those positions becoming very rich and getting their families rich. So someone did a survey of the different accounts of the monks at these wealthy monasteries. It turned out that Lung Lung was the poorest of the bunch. He never kept the money, he kept giving it away. He was a very generous person. He lived in a place where there was a lot of rank, there was a lot of wealth flowing around. He was not affected by it at all. He was always very direct, very very human human being. It was just a sign of someone who has something really solid inside. In Thai, they, they call this lak chai, which means you have a post in your heart. That's a post that you can stay with, that you can rely on, someone who's not easily knocked over. This is a post buried deep. In the canon, they have an image of a stone post buried deep, 16 spans tall, 8 spans buried underground, so that whenever the wind comes, whether it's fortune or loss of fortune, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain, the stone doesn't shake. And that's the kind of quality you want to have. We see so many people in the world getting pushed around by their their greed, aversion, and delusion. And the greed, aversion, and delusion are but like big sails, so whenever the winds of change come, they get blown around. You have to take down those sails and just stay with your post, knowing that the good that you do in life, that's going to be your your real treasure. And you don't want to be influenced and changed by other people's opinions, other people's likes or dislikes. A lot of times when you have to hold to what you know is right, other people are going to criticize you, they'll smear your name, they're not going to like you, they'll say that you're being unfriendly. But you have to put up with the criticism, because after all, the criticism is just air going past your lung, <coughs> excuse me, past your ears. But the goodness you do, that's yours. And if you don't do good, then the bad things you do, those will be yours as well. So the praise that other people give you, that's their karma. Your karma is what you're doing right now. So this is why we practice meditation, to make the mind solid, so it's not blown around by things. Otherwise, as we see all, all, all too often, people get some fame and it goes to their head. People get some wealth, it goes to their head, and going to the head doesn't go to the best part of the head. So you want to make sure that whatever happens in life, whether you gain or lose, gain status or lose status, or praised or criticized, People offer you pleasure or they offer you pain. You're not going to be affected by those things. You're going to be following what you know is right, what's good for you and good for the people around you. That's when you, other people can rely on you, and that's when you can rely on yourself. Because you've got that post there in the heart that you hold too firmly. <laughs>